tackle for bomb fishing is nice and simple. Firstly, I want a relatively short rod. The maximum distance I'm going to be casting on a venue like Hallcroft or most commercial fisheries is 40, 50 meters. And with a bomb, the 10 foot engaged feeder will do that no problem. But it's also got quite a nice soft action. So it's forgiving when you play fish, but a little bit of power in the butt for casting. So the 10 foot engaged feeder rod, Quiver tip is one ounce, which to some watching this will seem a little bit light, but bomb fishing for me is all about indications and knowing where the fish are. So light quiver tip, fish nice and slack. I don't want a, a bowstring line running through the swim with the tip locked right round. So slack tip, one ounce quiver, so I can see all those little line bites, which you could hopefully tell me where the fish are. Main line, six pound Pulse Pro on a 4,000 Aventus reel. My actually setup itself is dead simple. Just literally nice little running rig. I've got snap link swivel down to a speed bead. The speed bead just acts as a buffer. So it's nice and simple running rig. The rules here do dictate you have to fish a running rig, but this is a rig I'd quite happily use on any venue in the cold. So speed bead, which gives me the ability to quick change my hook length. Again, something that's really important with this style of fishing. I might want to have a chuck on a wafter, then I might want to put a long hook length on with popped up bread or whatever. And that just allows me to do that without having to sort of cut my hook length off and put a new one on. So I'm not ruining hook lengths every time I make a change. On the subject of hook lengths, I tie up several different ones for this type of fishing. I've got 75 centimetres, uh, basically a long hook length for a wafter. What I'm a big believer in is visibility. So a slow falling hook bait. I don't believe short hook lengths on the bomb are the one unless I'm popping up directly off the lead. So long hook length, 75 centimetres, I can shorten that. That's like 017 is my sort of standard. 017 N gauge is my standard line for carping, size 12 QM1. And I've got a variety of different hook lengths depending on what I'm gonna be doing. But for carp, they're all on 017. The only, most of them have got QM1s. The only difference one, and this is my sort of like, if it's really tough and I feel like the fish are just watching the hook bait, size 14 Super LWG, 017, 50 centimetres, and I just hair rig a wafter on that, but I trim it, just trim it down so it's just sinking nice and slowly under the weight of the hook. And often that'll get a couple of bites on those hard days when everything else is failing. So nice and simple. One other subject I will mention that's really, really important, and that's lead size. There's nothing worse when the water's freezing cold and clear than crashing a great big lead in so the lightest lead i can get away with to reach the fish is what i'll go with so it might be as light as a third of an ounce bear in mind i've got a six pound pulse pro on the reel very low diameter line makes casting easy so light leads feather it in little plop keep that disturbance to a minimum and that's going to hopefully keep those fish in the area a little bit longer